Hey guys, in this video we'll be considering the first case of pipe flow, which is laminar flow in a smooth pipe. Now in the previous video we went, I, I breezed over a function that distinguishes pipe flow from open channel flow and this function included six variables, uh, dynamic viscosity, density, velocity, diameter, length and roughness. Uh, we said that pipe flow is determined by a pressure difference, so this equation tries to find the pressure gradient across a section of pipe. Now in laminar flow we consider the pipe walls to be completely smooth so we don't need to consider the roughness term in our function so let's get rid of that. Now we're left with five terms which we know through dimensional analysis and the Buckingham Pi method we can simplify into a more usable equation. I won't go through the proof but it is a good exercise to do it's just a standard dimensional analysis problem no real tricks to it. Uh, so I'll leave that to you if you want to do it. Uh, but after simplifying the function through the Buckingham Pi theorem method, we get an equation with two variables, L on D and RE. And for fully developed flows, L on D is a linear relationship, so we can just take that out and multiply it by a constant factor, which turns out to be half. So if we rearrange that, take that out of our function, we get delta P, equals half rho v squared times L on D function of R E. For laminar flows, uh, function the function here, which is called the Darcy friction factor, is taken as 64 on R E. Uh, so this whole equation reduces to delta P equals half rho v squared times L on D times 64 on R E. And that's the main formula you'll be using for the pressure gradient between two points in a pipe. With regard to the associated velocity profile, we've got a few more equations we, equations we can use. These strictly only apply for steady laminar fully developed fl pipe flow. Now the equation of the para parabolic uh, velocity profile here is described as, and I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but a Poisson flow, and that's given by this equation here. When r is equal to zero, the velocity is at a maximum. So the center of the parabolic velocity profile is the maximum, or v max. And that's when r is 0, so if we sub in r is 0 there, we get delta p d squared on 16 mu l. So the Poisson flow can be written rewritten. If we sub that into our main equation, we get v equals v max outside of 1 minus